Hello friends, myself Chirag. Today I am going to discuss with you asymmetric key cryptography, topic of network security. So there are basically two types of cryptography. One is symmetric key cryptography and second one is asymmetric key cryptography. Today we are going to discuss in this video asymmetric key cryptography. Asymmetric key cryptography is also called a public key cryptography and symmetric key cryptography is called secret key cryptography. So there are six elements are there in asymmetric cipher model or we can see asymmetric key cryptography. First one is plain text, encryption algorithm, private key and public key. This is the uh, key pairs. Second, uh, fifth one is cipher text and next is decryption algorithm. So these are the uh, essential ingredients of the asymmetric cipher model and all the uh, definitions of these uh, elements are already discussed in basic terminology of the network security video. First one plain text is the original message or data that is fed into the algorithm as input. So original message uh, which is uh, sender wants to send to receiver that message is known as plain text. Second one is encryption algorithm. So it performs various transformation on the plain text. So encryption algorithm is one kind of technique in which input is plain text and key uh, either it is uh, public key or private key. So uh, output of this algorithm is cipher text. Public and private keys. This is a pair of keys that have been selected so that if one is used for encryption and the other is used for decryption. Uh, either public key is used for encryption so uh, private key is used for decryption. Either private key is used for encryption and then public key is used for decryption. Both the scenario we will discuss in this video. Ciphertext. Uh, Ciphertext is the unreadable message. It is the produced by encryption algorithm. We have already discussed about that. Decryption algorithm. Uh, it takes the ciphertext and the key as an input and produce the original plain text. So encryption algorithm will be executed at the sender side and decryption algorithm will be executed at the receiver side. So here key will be either public key or private key in decryption. Also in encryption either it will be uh, public key or private key. Next, public key is distributed to all the users and private key is known to particular users only. If uh, there are three users in the networks, so all the users know all uh, users public key, but private key is known by itself that user only. There are two different scenario of encryption model. First one is public key used for encryption and private key used for decryption. The second scenario private key used for encryption and public key used for decryption. Now let us discuss one by one both the scenario. First one scenario one encryption with public key. Now this is the uh, asymmetric cipher model uh, in which encryption with public key. Here Bob is the sender and Alice is the receiver. So there are two users in the network. So if Bob want to send the message to Alice. Uh, so this is sender and Bob must have to use public key of Alice uh, because Alice public key is known by Bob. So now you can see over here uh, in, in encryption algorithm. So input is plain text and uh, Alice public key. Now you can see over here PU is known as public key and A uh, denoted Alice public key. So input of the encryption algorithm is Alice public key and uh, plain text uh, which is original message. Message to be transmitted after encryption of message using Alice public key. Uh, after, uh, uh, output of the encryption algorithm is Y and Y it is called ciphertext. So ciphertext is uh, transmitted to the receiver side. Alice has received message and she can decrypt the message using only her private key. Now you can see over here this is the PRA notation. PR is uh, private key and A is Alice private key. So uh, decryption algorithm input is ciphertext which is transmitted by Bob and uh, input is another input is uh, private key of Alice and it generate uh, plain text output. So this is the encryption with public key. Mathematically this scenario represented as uh, public key of A now PU of A and the another input is original plain text X and it is encrypted by encryption algorithm and it generates Y ciphertext. 
uh, in decryption process d is the decryption algorithm uh, in a decryption process uh, one input is y this is ciphertext transmitted by bob and another uh, input is private key of ls so pr of a so this is the decryption process and it generates original plain text x now you can see over here, pua is equal to ls public key and pra is equal to ls private key second scenario uh, and second scenario encryption with private key uh, in this figure you can see over here this is bob is the sender and ls is the receiver here uh, if bob wants to send the message to ls now you can see over here and bob must have to use his own private key now this is the bob's private key so we have or uh, right over here pr of b so encryption algorithm input is capital x and pr of b private key of bob message to be transmitted after encryption of message using bob's public key so output of this encryption algorithm is capital y and y is transmitted uh, to the receiver side through a secure channel next one alice has received the message now you can see over here so y is reached at alice side so we can set receiver side so C can decrypt the message using Bob's public key because Bob's public key is known by Alice. So here you can see over here. So decryption algorithm P U B comma Y decryption algorithm used uh, is used. So input of the decryption algorithm is public key of Bob. So it is P U of B and uh, another uh, input is Y ciphertext. So its output is original plain text. Now mathematically it is represented. Now you can see over here, this is the encryption process. Uh, it uses private key of Bob, so it is PR of B, and another input is X. It generates ciphertext Y. At decryption side, public key of B and uh, ciphertext Y is the input of the decryption algorithm. It generates capital X, so it is the original plain text message. Where PRB is equal to Bob's private key and PUB is equal to Bob's public key. Now, pair of private and public keys. So, uh, who will know the whose uh, private key and whose public key? Now, this is the key detail. See one by v. one. Uh, Bob's private key. So, it is denoted by PR of B. So, Bob must know. But Alice does not know about Bob's private key. Next one. Bob public key. So, it is PU of B. So, public key is known by Alice also. So, this is Bob must know. And it is also known by Alice. So this is public key. So Bob and Alice both are known. Same as Alice private key. So Bob not known and Alice must know. So this is private key which is not shared with Bob. Alice public key. PU of A. So this is public key. So both user known the public key. It is known to Bob and Alice must know. Uh, for example, uh, sorry, a uh, famous example of uh, asymmetric key cryptography is RSA algorithm, Rivesh, Samir and Adelman and Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm. These are the famous algorithm of the asymmetric key cryptography. Now advantage and disadvantage of asymmetric key cryptography. First one, if data is transmitting on insecure channel but key cannot distributing among the sender and receiver. If a hacker or attacker will get the message or capture the message from the insecure channel but they cannot decrypt the message. Separate key is used for encryption and decryption. Even if encrypted message is stolen by attacker or he or she cannot decrypt the message easily. Easy to user for user. Disadvantage asymmetric key use more resource in compared to symmetric key cryptography. More mathematical calculation required. So this is the biggest disadvantage of the asymmetric key cryptography. Slower in compared to symmetric key cryptography. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel on YouTube Chirak Balodia. Press bell icon to get new video notification. Follow my blog edu resources. Thank you.